Joining now in a first on CNBC interview is Terrell Lamaris and CEO Cheryl Palmer. Cheryl, good to have you. Um, you delivered 3,125 homes in the second quarter. I think gross margin there, 24.2%. I mean, times are good to be building and selling homes. Uh, your investors, I would wonder, think, how long can this continue? So how long can it continue? Well, good morning, David. Really nice to be on this morning. You know, the demand that we've seen this year has been very, very good. You know, and when you think about how long, I think you really have to look at the overall supply environment. We have very little inventory out there in both the resale and in the new. In the resale, we're at all-time lows. Um, I think 50% of long-term averages and about um, a month of new home supply. So when you look at the, the data, um, and the absolute demand that we're seeing because we've been underbuilding for so long, I think we've got a lot of room to run. You know, the numbers in terms of new homes as a percent of all homes being sold, I think, are at all-time highs. Correct. Given this lack of inventory. And, you know, so give me your longer-term thinking here in terms of when this breaks, if it breaks. Yeah, you're exactly right, David. We're seeing listings at about 30%, which is more than double than anything we've ever seen in the past on new. But there's a lot of reasons for that. Once again, when you look at the inventory that we have, the lack of inventory, and then what we're calling in the lock-in effect of that resale buyer who is sitting there with an interest rate somewhere in the probably low three, I think something like two-thirds of the mortgages in our country today are under 4%. So it makes it very difficult for a consumer to want to sell their house, go buy something at an interest rate that might be double. So I think that's adding to the lock-in effect. And then with the new home builders across the country, we're being very supportive of helping a customer get into their new home through forward commitments and rate buy-downs and really making it a very good time for um, a consumer to come buy a new house today. You mentioned uh, so many, you know, homeowners have mortgages of 5%. So to David's point, when that breaks, should we look for mortgages to go down 2% and then you start seeing people putting their homes on the market, people willing to go out and get new mortgages at that point? And so some of that um, tight inventory dynamic loosens? I hope so. I hope that we see some more supply come to the market. You know, given the Fed action yesterday, but more importantly, just the spread between the 10 and 30, I think we're going to have rates stay somewhat sticky. We saw rates this last week back up to seven, and I think we got a little, a little help this morning, maybe just under 7 percent. You know, we're seeing the consumer come back and recognize that something in the you know, mid, high fives, even 6 percent is really good. So I think when you get that on a more consistent basis, Melissa, I do think you'll start to see some inventory loosen up. But we've been underbuilding in this country for more than 15 years. So once again, we are so undersupply. The numbers, depending on which numbers you want to believe, are somewhere between two and six million, you know, uh, rooftops that were short. So given the governor we have on labor, we've got we've got some runway.